Welcome to Conversations Live, where we bring you the best in music, books, entertainment, and more. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 16 years of broadcasting, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience as well as tuning in online. We appreciate you guys being with us. Gordon Jobna is with us today to talk to us not only about his newest book and his series that I think a lot of people have gotten to know over the years as the Bathroom Reader series, but I think you guys are going to really enjoy this newest one. It's number 32. It's called Uncle John's Truth, Trivia, and the Pursuit of Factiness. We're going to talk to Gordon not only about the new book, but also the great support he's been able to have over the years, what been life for him to be able to connect with other info nerds and to be able to share these great facts with all of you and of course let you guys know how to get your own copy of the book. Gordon, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. It's nice to be with you, Cyrus. So you begin this new book by talking about the history of the bathroom readers and, and what it's been like for you to be able to see the way that other info nerds, as you call them in the book, have been able to unite with you. I mean, what has that been like for you, Gordon, to kind of reflect on this response from year to year with the series? Well, you know, we uh, we didn't invent trivia, uh, but we sure were at the front of the trivia revolution. Uh, there, there, there was no there were no books like this really when we when we started. So, you know, we have generations of uh, info nerds like us who have grown up with the book, and uh, that's been fantastic. You know, um, we you know there was no internet when we started uh, Uncle John's bathroom. Maybe I'm, I'm dating myself, but, but uh, way back in the 80s, that didn't, it, it, information wasn't at your fingertips. Right. So we just loved gathering it, and we were reading books and magazines and finding ideas and, and, and topics to write about and uh, interesting facts. And just to know that we've been able to share that with people over 30 years is really uh, gratifying. Yeah, and it is called, of course, a bathroom reader for a reason. Of course, people are normally yeah. <laughs> when they're when they're in the bathroom reading is a part of it. You know, I, I have uh, I have joked with my audience over the years, Gordon, that I have uh, you know a little mini library and. In- <laughs> it, of course. Right. You know, our, our favorite our favorite go to's, right? But what I so cool about what Uncle John's with this series has done though, Gordon, is that you're able to not only pass the time but learn and to be able to find yeah. something that you can share, which is not typical when it comes to going to the bathroom. <laughs> so what has that yeah. been like for you to be able to sh- give this shareable information out? Well, that's really the you know that's the crux of of uh, why we keep going. I mean, yeah, it's a it's been a uh, you know a viable venture for for all these years because it does resonate for a lot of people. They do keep buying the books, which I'm I'm very grateful for. But sharing the information with uh, with people is really fun, and we often find ourselves in a you know where we something catches our eye and we we write an article about it, and then you know a couple of years later it's everybody's talking about it or, um, and, and so, you know, or to to put it slightly differently, I'll be watching TV with my wife, Mrs. Uncle John, and, uh, something will come up on, on the news and I'll just mutter to myself, Oh yeah, we published an article about that two years ago or (laughs) something like this. So it's fun to be on the edge, you know, the leading edge, but it's just, it's also fun to, to, you know, know that you're telling people something that, that they, they wouldn't find without looking elsewhere. So true. And you've been able to kind of build this tribe even working with this series as well. Uh, Gordon, I, I did not know before, you know, prepping for this segment that there was actually a website called truckspills.com actually dedicated to what you cover in the book when it comes to uh, spills from trucks on pages 84 and 85 of the book. And then, of course, even uh, even more interesting things, I think, for people like myself, you know, uh, you have the one, please use our new name, same as our old name on page two. 71. What has that been like for you to kind of have these conversation pieces, right, of things that we may have heard about but never really thought about how it happened or, you know, or the response to it? Well, you know, and that that sort of goes to how we um, put the book together, how we come up with ideas, because that's one of the things people always ask us. If 30, after 30 years, and these are 500-page books, can you imagine how many uh, facts and uh, little bits of information we've we've gathered over the years. So how do we find more? You know how to, and it just it, you know you just have an idea. You like like you said, uh, 
you wouldn't have thought that there was a there was a, a such such a, a website where you can find these things. I wake up in the middle of the night and I'll I'll jot this down. And say, oh, you know what? Um, well, you know, I just heard about uh, let's say a, a baseball promotion night. Um, sort of, we miss those right now, but uh, you know, and they say, well, let's look up, let's look what what the other teams besides my local team, what do they, what do some other teams do and, uh, for promotion nights? And we'll find that that there's a, for instance, a, a team in Stockton, California, where they grow asparagus. Uh, that uh, that will have an asparagus night. They have asparagus snacks in the uh, in the concession stands. You know, they have fried asparagus or asparagus fries or something like that. And uh, and and you know that's that's how we come up with these ideas. Yeah. Well, I think you know again those are the, some of the interesting thing, and even some of the mini nuggets that you kind of uh, seemingly hide from us, Gordon, uh, at the very you know bottom of, of you know of these pages. I mean, I did think it was funny. We've never in the 17 years of doing this show never talked about farting in space, but on page 42 <laughs> of this book, you know, where there was the question, can a fart propel an astronaut through the space station? At the very at the very end, you have the fact the first song Prince wrote was called Funk Machine. He was seven years old. Talk to us about the design, because, I mean, you not only, of course, have been able to um, help create these books, but also to publish them. I mean, how did you go about knowing how you wanted to be able to share the information? Well, one of our, uh, what you're referring to is the, the little fact at the bottom of every page mm -hmm. um, that we, we gather to, to uh, you know, to add. One of the ideas, we wanted to stuff as much information as we could into into the book, and we just thought, well, uh, putting a little extra information in the margins is another way to uh, add more information, but also to make it, make the reader feel like uh, they got some, they get getting a little extra, a little more uh, for their money. And uh, we, we they're at the foot of every page, and we call them running feet in in, in our uh, in our office. But uh, yeah, that's that's part of our design. You know, part of our design is also to uh, keep articles short uh, because we are designed to read in the bathroom, of course. <laughs> um, and and also, if we if we uh, you know some books you'll read and if well trivia books if they when they finish a page they finish in the middle of the page. Well, if we finish book uh, an article in the middle of a page, we add some more information and a shorter article at the end. So we just like to cram it with as much uh, fun information as we can. Well, I'll tell you, it definitely is a, a fun and by book. The way, and by oh, the yeah. way, talk, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, talk about, he's just farting in space. It reminded me of a of a joke in the uh, in the bathroom reader. Why why is the company policy at Apple uh, you, you're not allowed to fart in their headquarters? B because they have no windows. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love that. That is cool. I tell you, you know, and see, that's what I get for hosting this show. I get to introduce a book and even get a, get a nice joke to wrap things up. Again, everyone, Gordon Job has been our <laughs> guest. Congratulations on the new book, Uncle John's Truth, Trivia, and the Pursuit of Factedness, available now through our friends at Amazon.com. And, Gordon, it goes without saying, you're welcome back here anytime. Looking forward to speaking with you again. Thanks, Doris. Nice to be with you. Hey, thank you. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's make it a great one.